Hey, this is Ethan, and I'm going to show you guys how to change your recycle bin icon, and if you want to, get rid of it. Now, a bunch of people have done videos on how to get rid of this recycle bin, but it's never worked for me. It, and, it's, and if it does work, and you have to do all this extra stuff, it's a lot more confusing than what I'm about to do. Basically, what we're going to do is hide it, so you can't even see it. Okay, first thing we're going to do is show you how to change the icon. Now, first we're going to get a new icon for our recycle bin to change it to. So we're just going to go to probably deviantart.com, a good website I like to go to. Background. Okay, once it's loaded, you could probably search for like... Cycle bin. And then down here you can see we have some. And a lot of them are pretty cool. So we'll just download this one right here. Oh, okay, yes, so and Howard is going to come over here and hit download. And we're just going to save the file to. Open it and extract it to, and let's extract it to, to our desktop. Okay, now it should be on our desktop. And as you can see, there's a bunch of them. So we'll just delete these other ones because we don't need them. Because we need an empty and a full. Now you can see that they are a PNG file. They're a picture file. So you can't set them as your recycle bin. But if you have like a dock, like a rocket dock, like um, some people do, then you can set it as a recycle bin in there. And then you can just hide the real recycle bin like I'm about to show you. But if you want to set it as your recycle bin on your desktop, then you need to have a program. Okay, so you're going to need to have a program like Perfect Icon. I'll put a link in the description. I think it's a trial, but if you're just going to change your recycle bin once, you can download the trial real quick. Okay. So now you're just going to drag the first one in, and as you can see this is the empty one. Scroll all the way up to make sure you don't want have anything around it, because you can... Okay, and check off all this stuff. You know, it doesn't really matter, you don't need to mess with that. You just need to scroll all the way up and make sure it's on this one. Alright, file, save, and this one's the empty one, so we'll call it empty. And it'll seem as an icon. Okay. We'll do the same one for that. And it'll stay there. I'll save. I'm gonna name this one full. Okay. Okay, so now that we have our icons, we're gonna set them as a recycle bin. So all you're gonna have to do is right click on your desktop and hit properties. Okay, now you're going to go to desktop, customize desktop, and over here you have your recycle bins. So we're going to change the full one, and we're going to hit browse to your desktop, and we were changing the full one. Open, OK, and then we'll change the empty one. Set to empty. Now I'll hit open. And now I'll hit OK. And you can also change your My Computer icon. As you can see, I did that. And your documents, as you can see, I did that. And I've never been able to find a good My Network Places icon, but you could change that too. 
and it goes about the same way. You can probably find them on DeviantArt. Okay, so now you're just going to hit OK, Apply, and OK. And as you can see, the trash icon is the one we found. So I actually kind of like this one. Um, I might keep it for a while. But, yeah, so that is how to change the trash icon, and we'll empty the trash, and now it's the blue one. Okay, so that is how to change your recycle bin icon. You could put these in, like, a folder or something. I just keep a folder called, like, customization, and I put all my themes in it, all my dock stuff, and all my icons. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to get rid of your recycle bin. Okay, and first we're going to get rid of the text. So if you only want to get rid of the text, you can do that too. You just right click and hit rename. And if you can't do that, you just highlight it and hit F. Although I, I'm not going to do that because. It um, stops my screen recording. Um, so you hit F2, and then it will you'll be able to type whatever in. But for me, I'm just gonna right click and hit rename. Now down here, you can't just ty type in nothing and then click. It doesn't let you do that. But what you can do is right click, hit rename. And then type and on your keyboard. Make sure you either have a numeric keypad to the right, like with all the numbers in that order, or you have numeral lock on. Number lock on. So I'll show you how to. Now that you have new lock on, you're going to have to right click on this, you're going to have to highlight the recycle bin, hit F2, and now, you delete it all, and, okay, so if you have a numeric keypad to the right of your keyboard, then you don't need to worry about this, but if you don't, and you're on like a laptop or something, or you just have a small keyboard, then you need to turn Noom Lock on, so no lock, numerator lock. And the first thing, and in order to do that on a laptop, at this picture, you're going to see an FN key right here. And then you're going to see an, a, a Noom Lock key right here. So you're going to have to hold FN and then press all the Noom Lock key. Zero, one, six. Oh, and now you're just going to click away. Now we're going to get rid of the icon on the recycle bin. You're going to right click on the desktop and hit properties. And then you're going to go to the desktop. Just like we did when we zero changed the icon. is M for the recycle bin. J you're going to go to customize desktop. One is J and the six scroll to the right is now O. <coughs> and then so you're going to click on here. And the code that we're going to need to type in, or whichever one, hold down and hit change oh. icon. And you're now, now I'm going to give you one, a path. Six, it's going to be in the description. You're going to hit gonna zero one to six the main okay. place. But you're going to have to do that in your case that in there. Pads. And then you scroll to the right until you find a blank one. You hit OK. And you hit this one, hit change icon. Then again, copy and paste the path, hit enter, and scroll to the right until you find a blank one. And now you're just going to hit OK, apply,
and okay. So that's one way you can find it is if you know in the general area where it is, you can just highlight around here until you find it. And there it is.